So what I will demonstrate today is how to stitch a larger image using the Dolphin camera. What you then need is a permanent marker uh, on either a ruler or uh, what I've made here is what I call a stitching blanket. It's a silicon blanket that has holes in it 25 millimeters apart or one inch apart in a perfect grid. So what I have here is a carbon fiber plate four millimeter thick that has been impacted several times. So there's uh, larger impact damages here. So when do you want to stitch? That's when your damage or what the area you're inspecting is larger than the area of the transducer. So the first thing I do is to set up the size of the stitch image that I want. So I know that this one is about 20 by 20 centimeters. Uh, I'm going to do 118, uh, not, almost 19 centimeters. I can decide the stitch pattern here. I can go sideways, back and forth, up and down, just to the right or just to down. So I'm going to do up and down just like this. I can choose the rotation of my camera. Now I'm going to keep it perpendicular. So I'm going to choose this one. And I'm going to choose the overlap to be seven millimeters. So my stitch grid is 25 millimeter. So this is the stitch grid. That's what I marked uh, in my stitch blanket. I got one inch or 25 millimeters between each uh, tile. I want to zoom out here so I can see the whole stitch. That's one time. I'm going to stitch in time of flight and I also like to look at every single stitch while I'm doing this. So I spray my sample. So I'm going to use the corner of the TRM as a reference to point on the mark that I just had uh, made on the carbon fiber plate. So here we go. Now for each stitch, I'm clicking the button on the TRM. Start, stop. Start, stop. There you go, there's the whole tile. Now I can also click on one tile and move it around to make sure it's perfectly aligned. 